Here we are guys, good evening, welcome along. I'm the bass man, say hello the wingman. Hello guys. Hello, lovely to be out with you mate. As always. Yes, so we are here, and what a backdrop. Yeah, what mate. a sunset. I've it just arrived. absolutely beautiful. That's all set up just about. So we're going for a conga today. It's low tide, so we've got like three hours and then you've got to get off this mark. But it's very safe, it's a new concrete platform they've built here. And yes, we've got cuttlefish for bait, we've got the big gear, all the idea and we're going to see if we can't get intercept a big eel as it's coming up the river yes so tight lines mate are Thank you ready mate. yeah i am right we are rolling let's go fishing guys <laughs> yes so here we are nice big 9-0 hook and a nice big cuttle and if you notice there i've got a rotten bottom on the weight so oh, no yeah. so no zip slider because you're just going to get jammed jammed yeah. And I've got a 20 pound line on the rotten bottom there. So hopefully that might might break out. <laughs> we'll see. Ooh. <laughs> Thought you was gonna foul hook something. No, still going down that, still going down. Still yeah going mate, down. it's deep, deep, deep. Right, here we are, just basically setting up. Wingman's had a nice slow bite. Slime shady. That sunlight, that sun's lovely behind you, that sunset. Is it? Yeah. Up. <laughs> one, one wonders whether it's going to oh, be my well. luck tonight. Yeah, that means that's a good omen. Mate, yeah. I that, caught him fair and square though, didn't I? That's a good omen, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Velvet swimmer. Here we are, this absolutely epic skies. And check that out. The rain coming down from it. It's a bit like Independence Day, isn't it? So yes, conga fishing is all about big baits and long weights. You've got to be in it to win it. Very still tonight, not a breath of wind. It's it's really nice. It's cold, but it's doable. Right. Here we are. Just had a quite a heavy Oh, there you go. It's not tiny. Whoa. That was a hit, wasn't it? Little shit. Yes, and that's what they do, folks. They turn the hook upside down. He's done more than that, that. He's tangled me right around. Baby right round like a record baby. There we go, round there. So yeah, he went like that, and then he went <laughs> and spun, and that's what happens. So yeah, devil, eh? Bit more whipping and uh, back yeah. out she goes. the local smallest board. Oh, is he a good one? Nah. He was jamming me in, mate. Baba. I wouldn't say baba. It's got to be at least a pound. There he is. Shake, rattle and roll. Right, hold the rod, Sam. It's a start of a 10. There you go. Let's turn your light off. Slime, woo! Very strong. So I've, I've taken the weight out of the equation already, look. There you go. 1 0 to the bass man. <laughs> Very lively customer. Yes, he's just landed. I should let him settle down, really. Mate, I've got a T-bar there. He's perfect for a T-bar. Yeah, but I can I can get a perfect picture right there. Look. Hang on. Dick. There you go. Question mark. <laughs> I do question myself sometimes. <laughs> right. Should we show people how to T-bar? Yeah, it can be a bit brutal, especially if they're 
sort of deep hooked and nobody really wants to see that. So basically, obviously the hook's just there in the side of its gob. And he's lit. And you've just got to time your moment before he spins again. Get, oh, missed it again. Right, so, oh, there you go. Off. That's it. That simple. You're supposed to invert, invert like that and then and it comes off. Quite a good scar on that one. Yes. Scar head. You should yeah, call and him. the back, and the back. Scar head and back. But yeah, it's not, it's not a babby. It's a conga, mate. Wee. Would you like to go over here, sir? Wee. Right. Want to see him go off the edge? He's going. Ready? Oh, no, son. There you go. There, look. On the weeds, on the weeds. Yes, the conga. Down into his lair. Oh, I've got a bait down there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely coming back because he he likes a bit of head. This one, <laughs> <laughs> he's had a bit of head, I think. You watch, I bet 30 seconds and he'll be back on it. Oh, he's You're joking. That was a that was on, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a good fish, mate. That yeah, was... well, it went small. It just it went over and kept going. Running around, pool in, running pool around in circles. <laughs> Left, right. Come on, I'll take you all on. Two at a time, Brett. Yeah, oh. there you go. <laughs> right, this is the one I want. That one's tiny. And here we have a bit of rinky dink stink pink squid. Just starting to go, look. So Brett's just put that onto his mackerel there. That will make the difference a bit of. You can't be a rinky pinky pinky. Can you? No, no, no. Oh, yes. All right, come on, let's add this eel. There's one out there. So then, um, what are you got to say, mate? Right, so I'm just obviously, I've been done in the bottom there. So I've had to break out my 80 pound braid with a, with a braid puller and straight out, no messing, easy. So I'm going to give you a little tip now. Just tie this back on, 80 pound braid. So you only Mate, have you, oh, all right. Right, so, okay. So imagine now, right, that we've just, that I just got jammed in the bottom and I've been lucky enough that the uh, rotten bottom's broken out and I've got my gear back, so I've got this back. But obviously I've just got a swivel here or something, I know, with a bit of line, yeah? You with me? Yeah. Right. So instead of having to take all that off, and retie it, right? If you use a clip, a hanging weight clip, like yeah. that, you know what I'm gonna do now, don't you? Yeah. You can just put it on the line and just clip it in, all right? So to save you undoing your gear, if you've lost your weight, you don't need to disconnect and reattach. You just need to pop that clip on there, like what I've done there. How cool is that? Look, yeah, mate. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, and look, check that. This is a real conga hook. That is a Mustad 12 0 in there with a bit of a sheath on the point. Like a proper big 12 0 conga hook. Beast, beastie hook. Yeah, and it's sharp, quite sharp as well. Now, I got these, I got a box of these from a Plymouth tackle shop a couple of years ago, and it was 25 in a box. They cost me, I think it was 13 or 14 pounds. Yeah. 13 or 14 quid for a box. Yes, recommended to me. Take them home, yes. I'm gonna catch loads of eels with these. I think there was, out of 25, I think seven were sharp. <laughs> Mate, I'm talking blunt, blunto. I was not happy. That was just a waste of money. And I've literally got a couple of those kicking around and I've tried sharpening them. But you're always on to a losing battle once it's lost its you know original point or if it hasn't got one in the first place so yeah that is a proper must add 12-0 proper blunt hooks they are dull as you like well <laughs> never buy them again mate ever
Have it. Yes. Way. <sighs> Done, yeah? Yeah, look at that. Let's have a look. Being really cagey tonight. Oh. Turnicus upside downicus maximus. That is a typical trick. So the very scenario I was just explaining about the uh, if you lose your weight has just happened. So I've just literally just clicked on another weight there. On, this is on a different rod, mind. So yeah, you can see the old one just hanging there, just surplus to requirement, but it's not in the way. And it saves, you know, un unbuttoning that and doing it up again. Oh, here we go. Turn out. Hold it. Yeah. Go on, son. Get it going. It's on the ledge. That's the one. It's a bit better, mate. Yeah. He's not pulled back once. Oh, here we go. There he is. Oh, moving away that way makes him a line. Right. What I'll do is, mate, I'll pass you the rod. Borrow your shoulder over your shoulder, son. Right. Right, first thing I'm going to do is grab that weight. Yes. That's a bit bigger, mate. Yes, the bass, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you like, bud? There. Right. Should we swap lights? Oh, yeah. mate, I need, I need to uh, just right. hold up, hold up. I'll right. double up. Let's get, let's get the, let's get the. There you go. Yeah, it's still not, there you go. not the same, is it? He's a fat one, that one, mate. Yeah. No length to him, but he's fat. Yeah, he's grumpy, isn't he? Yes, mate. Lip hooked as well. Yeah, I'll, uh, you stay like that and I'll go and get the, uh, okay. stay like that and I'll go and get the T-bar. Yeah, he was on straight away, that one. Yeah. Yeah, well, that made the night, mate, because we've only got about half an hour left, an hour or so. So, is he going to play ball? Yes, right in. Oh, hang on. That was me. My mistake. Right in on the hook there. Oops. Invert. Oops. Yes. Missed it. I missed my shot, mate. That was my fault. Weight's off. Just giving him two fakes, son. No, I'm doing my best. I'm good at catching them, but not very good at wrangling them. All right, there you go. Done. There you go. Job done. Yes. And he has just made you. Yes, my ski pants. <laughs> Dirty <laughs> ass. <laughs> right, wait there. I'll just go and get my device. We didn't really pull back. No, mate, he was just more of a dead weight, wasn't he? Well, I wouldn't say dead weight, but yeah, it was uh, quite hard to pull up. Right. But I like that, just so people can see that. Look like at these sensor, sensory pits. Yeah, nostrils. Nostrils. Nostradamus. Incredible. We better pull, pull, pull touches one of them. Oh, no, not yeah. having it. All right, all right. He's done back. I'm not getting day. Come on, mate. I just want to show you a picture and we'll put you back honest. Right, so he has got a tiny bit of blood there, guys, because obviously he's just had a 9 0 hook extracted. So I'll turn my, is my light on. Courtesy of Bassman's Healthcare. Yes. Right. Can you see the light, brother? Yes, mate, can. There was a bit of a question mark to that one, wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an upside down one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, he's straightened out, mate. Yeah, see how that's the 20, look, 20 pound now. 
<laughs> Look at me. Yeah, don't go too far back, mate. You'll be swimming with the eel, otherwise. <laughs> right. Um, yes, I shall. We shall hold him up for a picture, sir. I think. Yes. Right, so there we go, guys. We we came, we saw, and we congered. Congered. <laughs> like that? Yeah. Yeah, right. So I'm going to let this little girl go now. She's probably about, what, eight pounds or so? Yeah, looks it, mate. About eight. Yes. Very nice girl. Right, should we let her go over us on a cell? There's Leia down there, look. Take off the uh, Vulcan death grip. Show her tail to the water, look. You can see how dexterous that tail is in a minute now, look. Reverse. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes, look. Go on. That is the best bit, isn't it? Watching yeah. the graceful Carlsberg release. <laughs> Please release me, let me go. Nice one, mate. I'm pleased with that. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Yes, mate. That noise down here. Listen, get down closer to it. Can you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Star Trek, doesn't it? Star Trek? Sulu, beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> You know, sounds like the tri. That's it. Sounds like the tricorder. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Yep. Oh, you joking me? Oh, mate, it was going over. Oh, devastated. <laughs> oh, that was the eel of the night, mate. Do you see the bite? Just kept going over and over and over. And I just hit it and there's nothing there. And that's gonna turn my light down, maybe. I wonder how much our light penetrates the water, mate. Well, it's quite clear today, isn't it? The yeah. Water, so. Oh, that was such a shame. That was a good fish. What's happened? He's gone. He's there, look. He's there, mate. Yeah. Right, come on. We're running out of time. Oh, get him up, son. <laughs> that one pulled back a bit harder, didn't it? Yeah. And now it's pulling. No. Done you on the ledge. Watch your line. Let him, let him swim you out. Yeah, look, look. Yes. Oh, it's got me again. I think she's won the battle, mate. Yes. Right, pass me the uh, the scourger. There we are, guys. That's it from tonight. From us tonight. The uh, tide's flying up, and I've got about twenty minutes before I have to vacate. Get out in the corner because I've only got my uh, Alaskan snow boots on, sir. <laughs> anyway, we came, we saw, and we congered. We yield. We congered, mate. Mm. So we got one out. All right, it wasn't a monster, but you know, it's an eel, isn't it? And to a lot of people, that'd be a lovely eel. Small by our standards, maybe. <laughs>
anyway yeah splendid thank you very much for tuning in guys hope you've enjoyed our little blog tonight and uh yeah we'll be out on it again soon i've been smashing the flounder lately so um i'm gonna get bored of that soon must be nearly time for the play season to start yes mate yes looking yes, forward to that yeah mate. Right. i'll so, be yeah. making some place weeks tomorrow yeah so yeah tight lines guys hit the like please subscribe if you haven't just hit subscribe it's totally free don't cost you anything and yeah we'll see you again next time tight lines